Hi friends, today we are going to talk about pepsin and pepsin tests. Pepsin becomes so popular among people with acid reflux. So my subscribers are asking, should I do a test for pepsin? The answer is no. Why not? If you have acid reflux, if you have silent reflux, then you have pepsin right here into your mouth. I don't need to see your test. It's there. So my subscribers always would like to know the explanation why I gave this short answer. Well, let's go for explanation. On my channel, there is a playlist called the Digestive System Course. I have videos there. And number six is the particular should be interesting for you. It's how the digest, how the food digested in the stomach. There is a slide there. And <clears throat> the slide is about how food get digested when you put the food into your stomach. G cells will start to produce gastrin, which will stimulate parietal cells there in the stomach. They will produce hydrochloric acid, an intrinsic factor. And this in the environment of hydrochloric acid or hydrochloric acid will stimulate chief cells and chief cells will secrete pepsinogen. And pepsinogen and the effect of hydrochloric acid and that pH will get converted to pepsin. That's important. Pepsin is secondary due to hydrochloric acid. I already pre-draw for us the picture of digestive tract. So as always, oh, let's do, do right. And this is your mouse with the teeth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, pillarus, low esophageal sphincter. So when, and, and this is parasympathetic system. When you are thinking about food, you're preparing food, you activate parasympathetic system and under effect of parasympathetic system. So gastrin get produced, hydrochloric acid get produced. Because of hydrochloric acid is there, you create pH acidic of two. And in this pH, pepsinogen get converted into pepsin active form. Food get digested here by hydrochloric acid, but the juices of uh, stomach, pepsin, hydrochloric acid. Also at the same time, parasympathetic system stimulates small intestine and the small intestine will produce, this is the liver and will produce bile here and pancreas P will produce pancreatic enzymes and will create very specific environment here in the small intestine with the pH neutral seven. Only when you have two pH two here in the stomach and pH seven here in the small intestine, pillarus will get open and food will move out of the stomach into small intestine. Small intestine will say, start to produce small intestine gastrin, which is hormone secreted by small intestine. It will go back here into the stomach and will tell stomach, start to produce hydrochloric acid. There is no hydrochloric acid. There is no pH2, no pH2. Pepsinogen is not converted into pepsin and the chain is broken. If you don't create right environment here in the stomach, if you don't create right environment here in the small intestine, that remains closed. Food with hydrochloric acid, with pepsin, will stay here longer than it's supposed to be. And if you go and lie down, or even if you don't lie down, it has only one place to go here into esophagus and will create acid reflux. You will see here food, you will see here pepsin, you will see here hydrochloric acid. So I don't need to test you. I just need you to solve the problem. Why in the world you have contents of the stomach going into your esophagus?
That's the interesting question. Now, guys, I saved you $124 right here. So please like, subscribe. If you have any questions, ask me right here. And if you need health coach, contact me here. Bye-bye for now.